In part B, we can calculate the current using the same formula as in previous problems. 0 0.079 over 5 for the resistance, and we get 15.8 milliamps. Then for part C, we need to account for the fact that the magnetic flux density cutting through the loop is changing over time. Because the loop is moving to the right at a rate of 5 meters per second, and since the direction to the right is in the y hat direction, that means y, in our expression for the B field, y is increasing at a rate of 5 meters per second. So in our expression for the B field, wherever you see a Y, we have to take into account that it's uh, causing the B field to increase. So Y will be Y plus 5T. And that's because 5 meters per second if you multiply it time over times t, times seconds, you'll end up with meters. So you get the total meters that it is increasing. All right, so then we have V induced equal uh, in Faraday's law here, E dot DL. So we can set V induced equal to what's on the right side, which is if we integrate over the surface of the loop, DB dt dot n hat ds that will give us v induced so we're going to integrate in the x direction from minus 1 to 1 in the my in the y direction 2 to 2.5 and then we put in our expression for b that we just developed so uh, we get 0.2 and if we go ahead and perform the time uh, differentiation, dB dt, then we're going to multiply by minus 0.1 times 5. So that gives us minus 0.5. And then we're left with e to the minus 0.1 y plus 5t. Now we have dot n hat, and we, we can define that for convenience to be in the direction of b. So we can say that is in the z direction, z hat direction. And then we just have dy dx. Evaluating the integral, we get 1 from uh, minus 1 to positive 1. And then we have the rest. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.2. And we get this from the integration. And this is evaluated from minus 2. Hmm. Why does that say minus? That should be a positive 2 to 2.5. Now we can set t equal to 0. And if we evaluate, plug everything in, t equals 0 and evaluate this expression, we're going to get V induced is equal to 0.079 volts. And as expected, this gives us the same answer as we calculated in part A.